All right, we're at Seven Mile at sunrise. Beautiful Sunday morning. Daylight savings time. Spring forward. Day after the St. Patrick's Day parades and everything, Fort Collins was completely empty. I was the only vehicle going through town. Only encountered a couple vehicles coming up the canyon. That is nice. Can't beat that. So I wanted to talk about what 2017 is going to shape up to be. As I said in the previous video, one of my uh, main bucket listings is going to the Crystal Mill Mine down there by Marble, Colorado. Yeah, that's definitely my number one bucket list for 2017. But I hope to get to Grand Lake, go up to Stillwater. I really like it up there. And maybe hit up uh, the sand dunes over by Walden. That'd be neat. Can't say I'm a really huge fan of sand dunes, but it's worth going. Uh, another item on the old bucket list would be going down south to about Silverton, Ure, Telluride, and doing the Alpine Loop. Definitely gotta check those out. A lot of fallen trees here this morning. It is significantly melted from uh, the last few trips, which means they'll be closing this trail here fairly soon for spring runoff. So, uh, gotta keep that in mind. I want to do a video of a current like everyday carry because I've added a few things and I think I've changed my mind on a couple other things so I should probably update that video of an everyday carry for a Polaris Razor. And there's definitely a different mindset between what you're carrying and what you're doing in the uh, summer versus the winter. You definitely use your winch a lot more in the winter because you're dealing with deep snow. In the summer, really, the only time I used the winch was uh, Kelly Flats and the chutes. I'd like to also do a video on how to reverse winch. Sometimes it's not as easy as just throwing the cable underneath the uh, vehicle and run it up, you know, underneath the chassis and out the back. You gotta figure out a way to uh, use snatch blocks and tree savers. So I'll probably do a video of that maybe next week. I'll throw up a video of how to reverse winch. Wow, that tree's getting worse. Another fall tree there. There's also a trail. I can't really point it out, but it's north of Seven Mile, north of Red Feather Lakes, that uh, goes to the Wyoming border. I really like to check that one out. I haven't heard anything about it. There's nothing online about it. It could be a really crappy trail. I don't know. I'm just more curious if the... Uh, state boundaries marked. I don't know, that intrigues me to, to know if uh, as you get to the Wyoming border that it's actually marked. Your eyes right there. I've been doing a lot of, I don't know, I guess you say research of different aftermarket things like exhaust. It doesn't seem like it's really worth it. It doesn't significantly change the uh, the sound. Imagine you can do ECU tuning with or without aftermarket exhaust if you really wanted to go that route. Whether to go ahead and throw a clutch in this. I didn't think I really needed a clutch work on the Acer, Razor 800, but when I had my Sportsman XP550, it made a huge difference. That was a QSC clutch. It made a massive difference in how that machine behaved, at least at slow speed. I, I think it negatively affected it on the high speed. So I'll do more research on that. It seems like everyone wants to always throw a clutch in their machines. I don't know if it's technically really needed or worth it so let me know if you're watching this video and you have an opinion one way or the other it was about 50 degrees at the trailhead it definitely feels a lot cooler back here with the snowpack I added the lower Polaris doors I'm really liking those super easy install oh my god maybe five minutes per side and now that the snow's melting this road is getting rough but anyway seven mile closes Oh, when does it usually close? I say April. It doesn't reopen till like late July for spring runoff. Because we have all these creek crossings, and then a part of the trail you actually are on the creek. Seven Mile Creek. I'd also like to do a video on uh, like top five or top ten things I like about my truck. I did the one video top five things I don't like and as I said in the video it's kind of first world problems really but I really do like that truck 2016 Ford F-150 got damn near 22,000 miles on it now the 
just over a year. I'm just beating the snot out of that thing too. <laughs> Pay attention. This is the part of the trail that you're actually on the creek. But anyway, just wanted to say what I have in store. Trips I'm looking forward to. Upcoming videos. So, I'll try to get to it. This is Bullet Garage at 7 Mile. Peace!